Hi everyone. So today I am going to be talking about stress. How stress affects your mental health, your physical health, your body weight, and your overall well-being, right? So now, um, after two and a half years, we getting back to normal. You see, um, almost all of us have started going back to work, which has sort of caused some amount of stress because in these last two and a half years, we grown comfortable working from home. There was no rush to per se, you know, get ready and go to work. While the working hours had increased for most of the people when they were working from home, but then still there was a comfort zone because you were working from home. There was no need for you to sort of face the traffic, get ready in the morning, and that is also causing some uh, causing some amount of stress in people. Today I want to talk about how the stress uh, you know works and how does it impact you in more than one ways. Um, being stressed disrupts your hormones. It it disrupts several hormones rather, right? So like cortisol, uh, insulin, adrenaline, um, thyroxin. Now please understand that even if one hormone goes out of balance, the body faces a lot of issues. And here, stress can impact so many hormones. Right. So, so one is uh, obviously we need to understand that we work around it, and it's also important that we understand what happens so that then we're better uh, equipped to sort of deal with it in terms of resolving it. So, let's look at all these hormones. If cortisol levels are high in your body, you're going to experience raised blood sugar levels in the morning. Yeah. Along with that, you're going to feel more wired up chronic fatigue through the day and that sort of brings down your productivity even further which then causes more irritation. Number two is insulin. Now insulin as all of us know is a very very important hormone. If your insulin levels are raised, if your body is secreting more insulin on a regular basis, one in the longer run you will develop insulin resistance which leads to type 2 diabetes. Um, along with that, you know on daily basis if your insulin levels are high your body will begin to store more fat especially in the central region around your waist which is also called abdominal um, no, obesity and which is also known as belly fat yeah it will also make you more hungry and more irritable so so insulin is very important and stress directly affects insulin um, next on the list is adrenaline um, again you feel more wired up uh, it affects your body it affects your mind doesn't allow you to concentrate and the next is thyroxin all of us know the importance of thyroid gland all of us know the importance of thyroxin hormone in fact i have done a detailed video about thyroid and you can go back and listen to that but for now please understand that this particular hormone has a lot of important roles to play in your body it affects your metabolism of fat protein and carbohydrate it affects the maintenance of your body temperature uh, and so on and so forth so you know this is how it affects you um, of course you you may feel pressurized for time along with this when you're stressed uh, like I said, your productivity goes down. Um, you have a lot of things to do and you feel so caught up. And at the end of it, you realize that you're actually not able to do half of it. Um, not only that, um, stress also can manifest in various other physical uh, symptoms like acidity. A lot of people um, feel that, you know, it's because of food. Partially, yes, it's because of food. If your meals are not on time, if you're eating wrong kind of food, but please understand there's a direct link between stress and acidity. Um, high blood pressure, which is also known as hypertension, uh, water retention, especially puffy eyes, uh, do happen because of stress. Um, swelling in your fingers, in your ankle. Right, you have a lot of sugar craving when you're stressed, and you tend to give in to those uh, sugar cravings. Insomnia because of stress, you're not able to fall asleep, or if you do, you wake up in the middle of the night and then you're not able to go back to sleep. Um, 
Not only that, because of stress, your cholesterol levels raise too high, your triglycerides levels raise too high. People don't understand, but there is a direct link which has been backed up by science that there is a direct link between cholesterol and stress, between triglyceride and stress, right? Um, so all of this and more uh, will uh, negatively impact all of us in the longer run. In my next video, I'm going to be talking about how food can really help you deal with stress. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to be just talking about two breathing techniques that can help you deal with this. Now, there is one technique which is um, you know, I call it one by two. There are people who call it four by eight. It's a very simple technique. Whenever you get time, um, best time is to do it early morning where you inhale for a count of four. You actually count and you inhale for a count of four. You hold it for a count of four and then you exhale for a count of eight. So inhale for a count of four, hold for a count of four and then exhale for a count of eight. Do it for about three to five minutes and you see a remarkable change. Please understand your breath can really, really channelize your stress. The second breathing technique is also called box breathing technique. A lot of people across the globe practice it and have benefited from it. Um, you could note it down, you can listen to the video again and try and practice it. Very simple, um, five seconds inhale, five seconds hold, five seconds exhale, five seconds hold and then again. So one side is five seconds inhale, five seconds hold, five seconds exhale and five seconds hold again. So that's your cycle of a box uh, breathing. Do these practices for three to five minutes every day whenever you get time, um, preferably in the morning or once in the morning, once in the evening, you will see remarkable improvement. Um, next video, I'm going to be talking about how food will help you deal with your stress levels. Hope this helps. Don't forget to share it with your family, friends. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. We'll talk again soon. Bye-bye.